Between my first career to my second, I spent one whole year talking to people and gathering data before I made the decision, okay? Then going from selling my first business and going to my second business, I spent two years obsessing about a topic and learning, talking to people, going on YouTube, reading books. And from there, it was a very clear decision. So most people say, if you wanna start your own business, it's a risk. For me, it never felt like a risk because I spent so much time obsessing over the topic that it was so clear that if I didn't do it, I felt like I was stupid if I didn't do it. Because the data said, if you do this, this is what you get. And at some point in time in your life, the bigger the decision is, the more data you need to gather, the more information you need to have. Some decisions could be done right away. Okay, some big decisions could be done in five minutes. Like if I wanted to jump off of a bridge into a river and I want to do it and survive it, I still need that information. I look, how deep is the water? 20 feet, not two feet, okay. How high is the bridge? It's 10, 10 stories, not 10 meters, not 10 stories. So okay, that's safer. And you start calculating to then say, you know what? Yeah, I could jump off this bridge and it's going to be the best day ever and it's going to be a great story. But the people that made the decision impulsively are the ones that die when they fall off the bridge because they say, I'm just gonna jump off, but they didn't gather information and they didn't know the water was only two feet deep and then they died. <laughs> Sorry to take it in such a drastic way, but that is the difference between impulsive and confidence. And confidence comes from getting information and asking questions. So with that said, guys, every decision you take in your life, slow it down. Think about it, get the information, get educated, and that's gonna drive the confidence. You could take the most shy person in the world and they could be so confident when they decide on what they're gonna do next in their life. Thank you for having me, everybody.